Okay, in this video I want to show you how the information that we've been looking at for interior and exterior angles can then be used as part of a question on tessellation. So tessellation is trying to fit uh, shapes together uh, so that there are no gaps. And that's the key part here, no gaps whatsoever. And what's telling is if you zoom in on one of the corners of where the shapes meet. What we have here is a six-sided shape, that's a hexagon, and we have a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, that's a square, so we've got a regular hexagon, a regular quadrilateral, so a square, and then we've got a regular triangle, which is an equilateral triangle. Now, what you see is that for an equilateral triangle, that angle will be 60 degrees. For a square, both of these will be 90 degrees. And from what we've seen in previous videos on the interior angles of a hexagon, the interior angle is 120 degrees. So the key principle is that what we have is 120, 90, 90 and 60, which add up to 360 degrees. So, as long as the angles at a point add up to 360, then you can say that those shapes will tessellate. Okay? And that's really what we're going for here. So, you can say, um, if you had a few different shapes, if I had, um, let's say, equilateral triangles, so... Let's say if we found, um, went back, we had to look at uh, so we had something like this, then you can see we've got triangles tessellated, equilateral triangles, And I would know that equilateral triangles tessellate because looking at one of the corners, I would have 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60, 60, 60, 60, and six 60s add up to 360 degrees. So as long as the shapes, uh, interior angles add up to 360, then I know those shapes will tessellate. 